switching to a fiber-rich diet may lower colon cancer risk in blacks. After switching to a fiber-rich diet for two weeks, switching from a Western diet with lots of fat and meat to a more healthy eating routine reduces the risk of developing colon cancer. Reverting to sooner eating habits may place an individual in greater danger for developing colon cancer. Thus, concluding a small but elegant study published in urban Pittsburgh and rural KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. It contributes to the body of evidence that diet plays a key role in the development of colon cancer. The research also points to a link between the growth rate of the intestinal tract and the amount of gut bacteria, known as the gut microbiome. An international team of researchers recruited 20 African-American individuals living in Pittsburgh and 20 Africans living in Kra, Zulu Natal. All of the volunteers had their diets analyzed and their gut microbiomes inspected. They also had colonoscopies. This examination of the large intestine, the colon, was conducted by the team for the entire community. It has been reported that polyps are lesions that can range from a few millimeters to 15 centimeters and can develop into cancer. Therefore, none of the 20 South African citizens had any polyps. For the two weeks surrounding their arrival, the Americans ate an exclusive South African diet plan that was marked by lots of plant-based foods, vegetables, beans, and fruits. African diet tasters ate Western food, which was typically high in fat, protein, and meat. The identical procedures were then repeated after having colonoscopies and microbiome metformin analyzes. At just two weeks' time, significant changes occurred in the measurements and chemical composition of the colon base and its microbiological environment. Those following a traditionally African diet exhibited significant reductions in inflammation and other factors associated with colon cancer. Their digestive microbiomes also gave them more butyrate, a product of fiber metabolism that can help prevent cancer. In contrast, those following the Western diet saw inflammation rise in their gut, decrease in butyrate production, and other changes that put their bodies at risk of colon cancer. The idea that diet affects colon cancer risk is not a new concept. This publication is surprising about why and how this innovative application of nutrition treatment is capable of reducing the threat of colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is ranked fourth among the top causes of death around the world. It is more prevalent in some regions and less in others. In rural Africa, it takes 5 out of 100,000 members of a certain race to develop colon cancer. In the United States, this seems to affect roughly 65 out of 100,000 members of that same race. The average increase of 13 times over the African rate is unlikely to be due to differences in genetics. You don't need to follow a traditional African diet to help prevent colon cancer. Here are some dietary changes that can help. Eat a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. Choose whole grains, and foods made from them instead of highly refined grains. Eat more beans and less red and processed meat. You don't need to follow the traditional African diet to avoid colon cancer. Below are some healthy dietary changes that can be of assistance. Eat a diet filled with fruits and vegetables. Select whole wheat, as well as to refined grains. Just eat more beans and less red and processed meat.